Yesterday I was working on a panel skirt bag and it was driving me crazy. I just couldn't understand why the coat was th why the bag was there and what was causing it. And I spent hours on it and after hours I have still no solution. So let me explain what bag it is. So you have the panel and I'm sorry if it's messed up, but you know I was working on it and let's say that you want to drag, you know, the applets around. You take the task manager and you do this to drag it around and everything is messed up. Like all the sizes are wrong. In this case, they're particularly wrong because I haven't yet restarted Plasma Shell, so there is a change that I did. But even in master, and this that I'm going to show you is indeed master, you still get this bug, slightly different. And I want you to open up your panel and see if you also have it. Take the task manager, you can drag it around and it, it seems normal, but when you go drag any other applet, it becomes giant, like for no reason whatsoever. Like, I mean, come on, what is this? So what's happening? Let's see the code. So the idea is, I'm sorry, the idea is we have this code, which is called the config overlay. What is the config overlay? The config overlay manages everything about uh, applet overlay when it's, uh, you know, hovered while editing the panel. So you see this white overlay, but also the tooltip, but also when you're dragging it around, this placeholder that takes the same width of the applet in theory to allow you to, you know, drag, um, to allow you to see where it's going. And what's the idea? So let, let me show you this. When you're dragging an applet around, like uh, as an example, the system tray, well, the, the actual applet with all the icons, you can drag it wherever you want. But when you drag it like on the left of another applet, there is like this preview of how much space it would take. So you see that there is this empty space. Let me zoom in. There is this empty space on the left of the clock, which is not actually caused by the system tray itself, but there is actually a placeholder, which in theory has the same width of the system tray to show you how much space it's going to take in that particular, particular uh, position. So what's going off? What's going wrong? Well, the idea is we can actually see where this placeholder is located. It's called place placeholder very nicely. And it's this element right here. So it has a property item dragging, which is the actual item that's being dragged around. It has a height which is the height of the current applet, which is also the applet that's been dragged around. Current applet and dragging are actually finally the same exact element. It has a visible, which is if the configuration array contains mouse. I don't quite like the idea here is this item only exists if uh, the mouse is on an applet that's been dragged around. Otherwise it doesn't, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Then it fills with only if the pre the element that's being dragged around actually fills with, and it fills height only if the element that's been dragged around fills height, which seems like it makes sense. So let's say that we are on master. How do we switch from master? So we take the terminal, we go to the source code, which is here, and we do git checkout master like this. Can I actually zoom in? Git checkout master. Okay, I need to actually git add git commit stuff git checkout master. Now we are on master. So we can see the actual code before I did any change whatsoever. We still have our placeholder but the code is slightly different. Whoops, the code is here. We've got an item with a placeholder. 
the drugging item is still there and fun fact this is i think one of the three lines of this entire file that's me like i did them in a previous merge request and the same property as before without the width and height because those two were actually set throughout the code as an example you get placeholder width equally equals sorry item width placeholder height equals item height and so on but also down here with is current applet width placeholder height is current applet height okay so i started working on this code saying okay something's off with the way that's you know setting the width and the height and i was optimistic that it was going to be an easy fix so let's see these two first something's off maybe with them so let's try to understand what it's doing we are in a function that's called onPosition changed. So basically this code gets fired up when you're dragging the applet around because the position of the config overlay, which is the same uh, position of the applet is changing. So what's this first part of code from here to like here? If current applet and current applet applet and current applet applet plugin name, this sounds like a poem, but it's actually saying if we have an applet that's been dragging around, and if that applet also has an actual applet inside of it, so we are actually dragging an applet and not who knows. I mean, better check for sure, right? And the name of the applet that's been dragged around is org.kd.plasma.spanelspacer then lots of complicated stuff that doesn't quite interest us because what this does is hard code something for the panel spacer specifically the panel spacer is you know the one that takes space in the panel and after a bit of consideration I personally decided to delete this code entirely because it was pretty bad then if pressed which means if mouse is being pressed, which means if mouse is actually being dragged around, well, if the current applet and current applet applet plugin name is Pacer, then blah, blah, blah. Again, things that doesn't quite interest us. Then what's this? Var padding. If current applet complicated stuff, then what's this? Well, basically saying if we set up a bit of padding and then we say, if the mouse that's being dragged is outside the panel plus the padding, which is this math right here, then check what is the containment of the mouse properties. What's a containment? Well, it's a category like a, a big box when you can put widgets. So like there is the panel and you can put widgets in there, but there is also the desktop. So if you're dragging an, an item from the panel to the desktop, and then it's outside of the padding of the panel, then it says, okay, what's the containment in the mouse proper um, coordinates? And if it's different from the plasmoid, which is, you know, the actual panel, then we move the applet there. So if I'm dragging something to the desktop, it will move it to the desktop. It, it destroys it from the panel, then it removes it from the panel, then it adds it to the desktop. What's next? If uh, plasmoid form factor is vertical, so if the panel is vertical, well, basically we say that the current applet is the delta in mouse coordinates. So we basically saying, okay, the applet that we're dragging around should follow the mouse, which makes sense. I can't disagree there. And then var item is the current layout child at mouse x mouse y. What does this mean? Current layout is the list of applets in the panel. Child at is a function to know what widget is in a certain coordinate of the panel. And mouse x and mouse y are the coordinates of the mouse. So we're saying, okay, please add, get us the element that the mouse is standing on top of, which is, uh, let me make an example because it's not so easy to visualize. 
let's say that I'm dragging the digital clock around. So as I'm doing this, you can see that my mouse right now is on top of the clock and of the system tray. You can see it. Like there is my mouse, there is the clock which I'm dragging around, but underneath there is the system tray. And in this case, the item is the system tray because my mouse is hovering that element. So basically it's saying, okay, fetch us the element that we're dragging on top of. Because it makes sense because, well, we'll see. Now that we have item, if there is an item and the item, item that we're dragging around is not the placeholder, so there's an actual applet that we're hovering over. Well, let's skip uh, this code that I highlighted for a sec. Well, basically we're saying, okay, you either insert it before or after that element. What? The placeholder. What's this? Insert the item. Sorry, it's the opposite. Insert the placeholder before the item and insert the placeholder after the item, depending on whether you're on the left or on the right of the item. So you're saying, okay, if we're dragging over an applet, then we should probably change the position of the placeholder, which makes sense. Otherwise, the placeholder wouldn't change position at all. So what we're saying is, let's actually try to visualize it in a better way. Okay, let's drag the hello edit mode. And if we start dragging something, we are going to see this red thing, which is the placeholder. And we can see that if we drag the digital clock on the right of the system tree, it's the placeholder is moved on the right of the system tray, which is where it was. But if we go on the left, it's going to move on the left. If we go to the right, it's going to go back to the right and so on. So the placeholder is moved before the item, if it's before, and after the item, if it's after. And this is thanks to the code that I showed you earlier, which is this one. We either insert it before or after, depending of the position in the item, if it's less or more than the height. Okay, so let's now finally try to understand these three lines. Line number one, placeholder with equals item with. So again, there is an issue with uh, the width of the placeholder. So this might be it. Okay, so we are setting the width of the red element, which is the placeholder for the item that we're dragging about, to the width of the item that we're dragging on top of. Okay, so let's see what that means. Again, let's move the clock on top of the system tray, like here or here. So we're saying, okay, the width of the placeholder, which is the red element, is the same as the width of the item that we're dragging on top of, which is the system tray. So the red element should be the same width of the system tray. And if I go like here, now the element is kickoff, so it should be the same width as kickoff. And if I go here, now it's the task manager, so the red element should be the same width of the task manager. But that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The width of the placeholder should be the width of the item you're dragging around, not the item that you're hovering on top of. And here, placeholder height equals item height. Okay, same issue. Why? And then placeholder parent equals configuration area. Okay, what's configuration area? I have no clue whatsoever. It's... It's something which is not defined. Where is it? Here, it's this one. Okay, it's, you know, the root element of this entire QML file. Why are we moving the, why are we moving the placeholder there? I'll tell you why. There is no clear reason. <laughs> exactly why there, exactly like there's no clear reason we should change the width and height to the items width and height. Because what happens is that this placeholder 
is going to be inserted before the item, which means that, or after, which means that uh, the parent of the placeholder is going to be changed anyway in one of these two functions. So what the hell is going on? So in these cases, I spent half an hour, one hour trying to understand what this code was supposed to say, and I gave up. So what I did was I got to the source code and I blamed someone. Git blame and config, the file is called config overlay. And this is going to tell me for each line who wrote it. So we go to that line, which is line, what is it? 120. So we go to 120 here. So this line was written by Alex in 2014. Okay, let's actually see why. We can copy paste, sorry, we can copy this uh, ID and it's going to be a commit. So we can show that ID and see what that commit was. Usually the commits also have an explanation on why they were made. And the commit is initial import from the monolithic KD workspace. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see what this commit is. And it's hundred, hundreds of lines that were taken from another repository, which means that this Alex didn't actually write that code. He just imported it from somewhere else, which means that we cannot understand. We cannot feasibly know who wrote that code. We will never know. I can only guess, but I don't want to because going around being like, I think you wrote that code in 2010 is not going to work. So we now need to take as a given that this code, we won't ever know what it's here. And it also doesn't seem to make any sense whatsoever. Nice. What happens if we actually remove it? And what happens, I'll tell you straight away, is nothing, nothing changes. Nice. Okay, let's try to switch to the next occurrence of the plasmoid placeholder, sorry, with and height. Okay, so in here, we are setting the width and height to be the current tablet with an height. Okay, where are we? On pressed, so when you press the button, the mouse, then we take the item that we are um, currently, uh, you know, over, we set the current update to be that item, then blah, 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 again, lots of custom code for the spacer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we set the width and height of the placeholder to the width and height of the applet that we're dragging. Okay, this makes sense. We even have that placeholder dragging equals current applet, which is the applet that we're dragging. Everything makes sense here. So what's going off? So we might say, okay, maybe it's the code above that's, you know, screwing up with us, but it clearly isn't because if that was the case, then the width and the height would keep changing depending on the item we're dragging on. That doesn't happen. So it must be something else. Okay, where else? Because this code makes sense, the above one doesn't, but it's not the issue. So let's switch to the next one. So we have parent here, not interesting. The actual item, not interesting. And then that's it. What? I mean, we set the width in just two places. One makes sense and the other doesn't, but if you take it off, the bug is still there. What's happening? So what I did is I tried to refactor the code a bit and let's switch back to my super panel. Um, let's switch back to my super panel branch and we can see my custom code. And what I did, except, you know, removing all of the custom code for the spacer is say that the width is the current applet and current applet height. Okay, makes sense, right? So easy. Also I added, when the width changes, please tell me yo 
and then the new width. If we have an applet that's been dragged around, and if so, the width of that applet and the stack trace, which is actually useless. So let's take it off. Okay, what happens then? Okay, let's try it out. So we have our log here. So we go into edit mode. Let's try to drag around the test manager first. And we can see that there's a yo already. And in fact, if we over an item, we get a yo, which makes sense. It's basically saying, okay, so you are over this element which is yo like 36, which means the width is the new width is 36. We do have an item that's been dragged around and the width of that item is 36. Everything makes sense here. So let's actually, I don't know, drag this one. And we get two lines on one go. What are they? Okay, the first one is yo we set the width to, to 276 and in theory it should be 276, makes sense. Also, yo, we set the width to 1000 and something when it should be 276. So this is right, but immediately after that we got this, which is wrong. Well, what's going on? I was at this point quite desperate, so what I did is I started stop using placeholder in some places to actually understand what part of the cause was causing this issue. And I found out that the real uh, lines of code that caused the issue in this file are this one and this one and this one. Okay, if I take these three off, the bug stops happening. Okay, what are they? Sorry, not this one. It's ba, 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 this one. Okay, what's happening? In this line, we're saying, okay, when we start dragging an element, so on mouse press, then insert the placeholder before the item that we're going to drag. Okay, here is the same as before. We insert the placeholder before or after the item that we're dragging on top of. So basically what the issue is that as soon as our placeholder actually gets put in the panel, something messes up with this width, which is weird. So you might say, okay, what is this insert before function? Who wrote it? Okay, it's here. I do have it. What's happening in this function? Well, basically we're saying, okay, this function is used to insert item two before item one, okay? If the, they are the same item, don't do anything, okay? We create a new array of the applets that we have removed. Sounds weird, but we'll get to it. Now, for each element in the panel, which is the layout, then we take that element, we add it to the list of removed applets, and we will remove it from the panel entirely. And then when we get to the one that we're looking for, we stop, okay? Then if the part, we set the new item to the panel and then for each element in the removed list, we actually add it back to the panel. Sounds weird. We are taking off all the widgets starting from the right until we get to the right one, we insert back uh, the new item and then we put back everything. Weird, but okay, works. There's nothing about setting with. And you might say, okay, but maybe it's calling something that you know actually sets a width to a wrong number, but it isn't because we can actually check for that. If we go back here, I can do, okay, so this, I know the bug is caused by the fact that these two lines are cold. Okay, I can go here and go console log after. So if the bug happens before the after, then I know that it happens while executing these two lines. If it happens after, well, it could be anything that's caused by these two lines, but it's not like directly called by these two lines. And of course it happens after. 
which means to recap that as soon as we put the placeholder of an element inside the panel, it is set to the right uh, width, and just after that, something screws up with it. Something comes, takes the width, and sets it to the width of the first element that you dragged. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Why on earth would the panel change the width of an applet inside of it to be the width of the first element that you were dragging since you last clicked on edit panel? Doesn't make any sense. So uh, at this point, I'm just going crazy. And the fact is that there is no like solution. There's no moment when I go, oh no. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm at this point. I think that in the panel code, which is really this one, there is like I did um one merge request to this code, which is this part. And my personal opinion is that the panel code got angry with got angry with me. It got annoyed, and now he hates me, or she hates me, or they hate me. I don't know. And now, wherever, whenever I try to do something, it screws up with me. Like that—that's the best explanation I can give. I have no clue what's going on. Also, I have no clue what the code that was there was meant to do, and also the code that was there was not working in the first place. So it's not like I broke anything, but I couldn't fix either, and I couldn't understand what the hell was going on or why the code that was there was there. <laughs> so anyway, that was it. If I manage to fix this, I'll keep you updated and hopefully I, I will. But at this point, I don't know. If you have any clue, any clue whatsoever. By the way, a couple of names are missing. Sorry about that. I'll get that fixed as up. But if you have any clue what could be causing it, please look at these three files. I, I'm pretty sure it's something this three files. It gotta be. I don't know what. So if you have any clue, it's well accepted. <laughs>